Hey loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I am doing a get ready with me. I'm actually going dress shopping for the very first time today. We're going to Kleinfields in Toronto and I'm so excited, a little bit nervous, but we are going to be doing my makeup. I obviously want to do some type of hair and makeup that will resemble what I will feel like on my wedding day, so I thought this would be a great little get ready with me to do. You guys seem really interested in my makeup trial, makeup get, it, get ready with me, so today I'm actually going to be kind of following some of the tips and products used by Gucci Westman on her makeup day. So um, I have the list here. It's kind of similar to the last one I did, but we have like a different blush color. We're going to do a bit more of a brown smoky eye. We'll, we'll see. Let's, let's play around a bit. So my skin is already prepped with skincare sunscreen. Um, I'm just going to spray my face a little bit. And I'm going to do what one of you commented in my last video, which was to apply the Lit Up Stick under my foundation. So I watched a video of Gucci Westman doing this, and she applied it like literally right under her eye, like that. And I think this will give me that glow, but will reduce the pigment. Let's do it down the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow. And I've got this beautiful pimple that's graced my face the last couple days, so that's fine. Like I mentioned before, I'm shade Atelier 2. I might actually get shade 3 just to do a little bit of shaping for when I'm a little bit more tan like I am today. We did some self tan. I'm definitely going to have a um, spray tan of some sort on my wedding and I definitely want to mimic the same look because I'm having a June wedding. Let's see if we can cover this bad boy up. Alright, I'm going to dampen my beauty blender and I'll be right back. So I'm using this new-ish, I've had it for a while, but it's the BioPure Beauty Blender. So I'm just going to use that to blend everything in. And I don't have anything on my nails. I am going to do my own nails before I go. I think I'm going to use this Gel Care in Coconut Milk. I actually discovered this brand while looking for a nail tutorial on YouTube. And they are a clean nail polish company in Montreal. So I thought that was pretty cool. They are a little pricey, like each of the nail polishes are, I believe, $24, but um, they're gel. So I use it under my at-home light. A bit more foundation, just where a previous blemish was between my eyebrows. Probably going to use a bit of a heavier concealer just to try and conceal this. I'm going to use the Ilia. So I'm actually just going to leave that there until I um, let it get a bit dry and then blend it in. So yeah, you can kind of see the highlight beaming through, but it doesn't look super blue, which I love. More coffee. So good. It's such a treat drinking like a latte or a flat white. That's what I'm drinking right now. My lips need a little love. I'm going to use this. Anons, probably mispronouncing that. All right. 
So next, I think I'm gonna do my eyes next and then we'll move on to the rest of the face. So, Gucci Westman said that on her wedding day she did a matte brown kind of smudged look which is definitely my preference. A lot of my makeup inspo for my wedding day is kind of that soft matte brown, just like a little smokiness. I'm not really a fan of a lot of shimmer on my eyelids um, for like day to day, and I just find that the brown will look the best. So the one that I would use is the iPod Chocolat. And I've used this one before quite a bit. I've used it as like an eyeliner smudged in. I've used it all over the lid in a few different videos, but um, yeah, it's one of my favorite products to use. I think I even used it when I, the day that I got engaged, like that makeup prep. So I'm using the Westman Atelier eyeshadow brush in number one. And I'm just going to cover my brush and just start to apply that. I'm starting at my lash line and then just kind of bringing it up. I'm just not going to go far past my kind of natural crease. I think sometimes people's complaint about the iPods is that they're not deeply pigmented or saturated in color but I find that's one of my favorite things about them because it actually makes them super easy um, and natural to work with. And I'm just smudging the tiniest bit above and into my crease. And like, this is a little bit of a slow process, but just taking my time, because if I rush, I feel like it'll just not like it. If you want to deepen the intensity, you can also take your finger right into the pod. And you get definitely more color payoff. So I'm just going to take my finger just to kind of blend everything out so it looks super seamless. I feel like this pops my blue eyes without looking too dark and sunken in. So let's actually blend this little guy in. Just tapping it with my foundation brush. I'm calling it a day. Perfect. So I'm going to move on to the rest of my face makeup and then we'll curl the lashes, deal with the brows. So I'm going to do the color Petal, which was my very first Westman Atelier blush. It's a classic. I feel like it's probably their most popular color and it's just this beautiful kind of petal pink. And it definitely has more of a pop than Chouchette, which I used last time, which is definitely more of like a peach. Oops. So I'll just use my fingers. And then my sponge. For highlight, I think I'm actually going to just use the Potapesh and just kind of add that on top of the blush. So, I'm 
bit of a blush topper, but it adds that extra bit of rosiness and glow. Because I definitely feel like I'll be wearing this on the wedding day. A little bit across the bridge of my nose. Yeah, I'm looking at the my mirror right here, which is in the natural light, and it looks beautiful. A little bit of butter bronzer, um, which is in the color Coupe du Soleil. So I'm using this 96 brush. This is a pro blush brush, but I just like how it's pretty small but fluffy. I'm just gonna. Going that along my hairline and temple with like a super light hand so I keep my hand near the end of the brush. And I'm just running it and brushing it horizontally right under like where my eye socket would be because that's where I naturally tan or like I leave my eye socket gap out of the bronzer and then I just kind of apply it around that perimeter and then on the chin perfect okay so next I'll do brows. I'm going to do just my Merit Beauty brow gel, which I'm running low out of. Okay, let's do a lash curl. use my Ilia mascara today just because I prefer it I think over the Westman Atelier one let's apply my lipstick This is the La Bouche Rouge one. And then I think I'm gonna apply a lip gloss over that. I'm using the Squeaky Clean in Nana. I'm just gonna do a little bit in the center of my lips just to add a bit of a highlight. But here is our makeup look. Trial number two. All right, so what do we think about this makeup? Let me know in comparison to last video's makeup. Um, yeah, I think I like the brown a little bit more, um, like the matte brown over the Pot de on the eyes, and I feel like there's a less um, lesser chance that it would crease during the day. Um, and I think I do prefer Petal over Chouchette. And I like the lit up under the foundation. So, yeah. What do we think? Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any other tutorials, makeup looks you want me to try, follow, recreate, leave them down below. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already because I would love to have you here. And if you want to see more of my makeup videos, makeup trials for my wedding, then you can... Wait, did I say makeup videos? If you want to see more wedding videos or wedding makeup trials, then make sure to head to the wedding series on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, and wish me luck with dress shopping.
I will do some sneak peeks. Hi.